Capital H history was made across the country last night in a number of national and state elections. And Nancy Cordes is back with us to tell us all about it. There are some really interesting firsts, so let's get to them. First of all, Democrat Mondaire Jones, who won New York's 17th district, made history as one of the first two openly gay black men elected to Congress. He shares that honor with Richie Torres, who identifies as Afro-Latino. Torres won New York's 15th district after beating a crowded Democratic primary field, including an opponent with a history of making anti-LGBTQ remarks. There's also a big victory for Black Lives Matter activist and nurse Cori Bush. She has become the first black woman elected to Congress in Missouri's historic race. Now over to North Carolina, where Madison Cawthorn will soon be the youngest member of Congress at just 25 wow. years old. Wow. You have to be 25 years old, according to the Constitution. So he just squeaks yeah, in there. Barely. And he uh, takes over the reins as youngest from uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Wasn't he at the convention? The he was. was. Yes. That's, That's right. He spoke at the him. convention. Yeah. He was very um, good. What yes. state was that? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, so AOC, she was 29 when she was elected. She's 31 now. But now Madison Cawthorn becomes the youngest. Uh, over to New Mexico, which is now the first state to elect all women of color to its House delegation. Mm -hmm. There wow. are three seats in New Mexico. You've got Democrats Deb Holland and Teresa Fernandez, who won their respective races, while Republican Yvette Harrell won the state's second congressional district. We knew that that was going to be an all-female delegation, guys, because there were six major party candidates who were all, all women, women running. So no matter how the race came out, you were going to have an all-female delegation. Sarah McBride became the first openly transgender state senator in U.S. history. She's going to represent Delaware's first district. She becomes the country's highest-ranking openly transgender official, and wow. she wants her victory to inspire young people. Take a listen. It is my fervent hope that tonight a, a young person here in Delaware or in North Carolina or in Texas or anywhere in this country, that they're able to go to see, sleep this night with a powerful but simple message that our democracy is big enough for them too. McBride thanked her supporters on Twitter saying, quote, we did it, by the way, Republicans who have seriously lagged behind Democrats in the House when it comes to the number of women representatives, they are adding to their numbers. They are picking up a number of seats with female candidates. They're still nowhere near where Democrats are. Democrats have about 100 women. Yeah. Republicans, just a, a tenth of that, but they're doing a little better. I always love to hear the stories of the new class that's coming in, what it looks like. It's yeah. always something very interesting. Yep. And this year did not disappoint on that front. Thank you, Nancy.